Alex from Alf's Mustang Garage. Uh, just working on our 66 Mustang convertible with 289 small block. Um, just trying to finish getting this engine uh, back together. Um, so I want to do a quick video on uh, how to find number one cylinder top dead center compression stroke because we are about to do a valve adjustment. So uh, first things first, uh, uh, forward on these old engines, they designate their cylinder numbers uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So uh, when doing a valve adjustment, you want to get uh, number one cylinder, a top dead center on your compression stroke. So um, the way I do that is, is relatively simple. Um, you can look at your uh, crankshaft uh, harmonic balancer and line up the markings on that to top dead center with the with the pointer right here but that doesn't necessarily you know, mean you're on the compression stroke because you're going to rotate around twice uh, per revolution here so in order to do that um, I have all the spark plugs out of all the cylinders so that way we have no compression whatsoever it makes it really easy to, to turn the engine over by hand and then as I'm turning over by hand I'm going to insert my finger into the spark plug hole of number one cylinder and then what you'll find will happen is when you start to build compression you're going to feel it and it's going to start to push uh, air out of the hole and so you can probably even hear it on the video there it is it's starting to compress right now and then once you know you're compressing that cylinder is on its way up to top dead center and then you simply align the markings on your harmonic balancer as such um, if you run an original uh, harmonic balancer like like we are there's going to be some markings for TDC or top dead center on the indicator here and now you're at uh, top dead center compression stroke for your number one cylinder so just in case you want to see that again, fingers in the hole to plug in order to create compression. And you're going to rotate the engine over by hand. And now we can actually hear it trying, trying to build compression. My finger's not going to seal it 100%, but it's trying to build compression. And then we simply line up our markings on top dead center on a harmonic balancer and now we are set and ready to do our valve adjustment and that's how we do that.